Hey, Jonathan here. I've got something crazy to show you, and that is Wiener. <laughs> um, what I have here is a strange setup. You are looking at my laptop screen. You're looking at a screencast from my laptop. And on the right-hand side, I've got a browser window that's pointed at uh, my Wiener server. And on the left-hand side, we've got um, a webcam that is pointed at my desk and I'm gonna put my iPhone down here, it's not plugged into anything and I'm gonna set it up here so that you can see what I'm doing go to the home screen and so this is a this is a JQ Touch application, a demo application running on my phone and it is pointing at the Wiener server internally there's a script tag I'll talk about that in another video and then over here uh, I've got my, on my laptop, I've got this client, uh, this debugging client also pointed at the Wiener server. So it shows me with these green text that I'm, that, that there's a connected device, so that's awesome. And it tells me some information about that device, which is also awesome. But what is unbelievable is that uh, using my laptop, so my keyboard, my mouse, and all of the, in the large screen real estate, I can click on the elements tab of the browser and actually interact with the DOM on the phone remotely, wirelessly. This is completely ridiculous. So let's see an example of why that might be cool. So let's say um, I'm having some kind of, maybe I'm working on the CSS and I want to uh, mess around with it. I can go down to the uh, current tab, which is right here. I can hover over it. I can look at individual elements over the maybe the toolbar and say oh, you know what uh, I'm probably not gonna uh, probably not gonna use the user interface stuff here for a second I want to debug something else so I'm just gonna hit the delete key and boom I delete it from the DOM over here and it disappears from the phone over here which is crazy super super useful of course I can do things like uh, change the class have that update in real time it's madness so extremely, extremely useful for debugging uh, and looking at the, the DOM on the remote device. Very useful. Uh, maybe even better or equally cool is that I can look at the console. So I can call up the JavaScript console. Now currently I've got uh, JQ Touch in debug mode in, in the application here. So if I tap on something, I'm going to see a whole bunch of output to the console. And normally that's very difficult to see. Oh, maybe I need to refresh here. Hold on. Let me refresh in both places. Just to make sure. And refresh again over here. So normally, uh, you, you can turn on debugging in, for Safari in the system preferences, but it's very cumbersome and it's difficult to really work with. So if I look at the console here now and actually tap on something, I can see the console debugging output show up over here or not. Debug true, save, quit, refresh. Console, slide, there we go. Sorry about that. So this is insanely useful for debugging. Uh, in, in it's two way, so I can say alert, uh, hi there enter that it shows up on the phone I mean that's just crazy so that means that I can manipulate I can I can test JavaScript over here on my laptop with my keyboard and mouse and have it actually appear over here and I can see it execute in sort of resource constrained real-world environment of the phone itself very very useful uh, now this the timeline I've just started looking at uh, this seems extremely powerful but I have to say that I don't even completely grok it yet <clears throat> but you turn on the recording here and then as you tap on things it gives you input about what is actually happening and how long it takes so this is this is where you would find out uh, what was taking a long time and maybe be able to determine why it's taking a long time but I haven't even dug into this yet it's it's pretty new and super super cool looking but like I said I have to investigate it a little more so hopefully this gets you excited about Wiener. I'm going to do a couple more videos that uh, explain how to install it and how to set up the networking because I think you'll find that uh, it's worth going through. It's a fairly easy setup, but it, uh, 
maybe a little bit confusing if you're not super down with networking. Um, but I think you'll find that it's the amount of time it takes to set up is totally paid back in the uh, the the time savings that you get from developing with it. All right, talk to you soon.